10% margin in this case becomes 15, 20, 25% margin. I'll show you exactly how to do it and you can finally scale. So our winning funnel template breakdown step-by-step step so you can copy it for your business. So the first page in our funnels typically is uh, make them one page. I call it MTW because this page is designed to make people want your product, right? So this is the example of the funnel. This is not exactly the product that's run, but this is exactly the structure that we follow for every single product that we sell. So you can see here, uh, you start with images, uh, high quality images, hyper important. So you can see that's more like before and after images and demonstration. There's also some proof from the uh, person who has invented uh, the product or kind of like the person who has authority. So for, for some health and beauty niche, it could be like the dermatologist or it could be some doctor that gives insight. Again, a lot of these things are borrowed from affiliate marketing industry because some of those funnels that these guys are using are just extremely successful. And you can see a few calls to actions here, more information about the product before and after comparison with other products here as well. And uh, also a few calls to actions so a person can click from any of those and proceed to the next stage in the funnel. Things to remember for um, make them one page, right? So meet market at their stage of awareness. And that's by Eugene Schwartz. So the people could be unaware about the problem that they have about your product, like totally unaware, right? You're creating the awareness of that problem. You uh, providing them a lot of information about the problem. So now they're starting to think about the problem they have, and now you're offering them solution, right? So that's the most difficult traffic to convert. But if you can figure out that, that's, that's where the real scale comes because most people probably are not even aware about the problem that your product is solving. Second is problem aware, then is solution aware, then is product aware where people specifically know your product and they just need a reason to buy. Maybe they just need the coupon code, right? So this is where a lot of entrepreneurs are focusing. They, they expect everyone to know their product, but most people are not, right? So if you kind of like go on a higher stage of it and figure out how to make people that are only problem aware or totally unaware of, of the problem they even have, then you will make uh, a really scalable offer, a really scalable funnel. Second, uh, for this page is make it visual. So lifestyle photos, um, product photos, images of results before and after. Have to be careful with that with Facebook and other platforms. Um, but if you can make it work, if you can really position it as a, as a before and after, this is where the real skill also comes because it's visual, it's easy to understand before and after, and this is what helps to convert. Spurs it with social proof, Instagram photos, models, real people, real reviews, several calls to action throughout the page, right? Makes their life easier, just like, you know, if they want to click on this page, just make them click. No price mentioned, you can get it. Uh, for example, you can just make a hint, like 50% off, get it here, and then click to the second page in the funnel. Story framework, something that you can use. I'll show you the example problem and ultimate solution framework. I'll show you example of that as well. Must solve their main uh, pain and people, the angle that people actually care about. So for example, Lisi, I'll show you example in a second. It's a brand that shows uh, and sells the pillowcase, but they're not selling the pillowcase, but they're selling the skincare solution because this is what people actually care about. And uh, check availability, right? So this is the call to action that makes people want, oh, is this product actually available? Because if it's not, people want it more. People want something that is not really available. So another example here, you can see Blissy, the pillowcase is quickly becoming the must-have product and gift of 2021. And there's a Patty story, right? So you can see the Patty story, the story of the person who's actually used the product and a very nice storytelling here. You can just find this page on the internet and just go through it because it gives you a lot of perspective on how these offers can be built and how these funnels could be built. So this is the first page in the funnel, the first landing page. And you can see there's a lot of content here, a lot of content, a lot of proof, a lot of different factors covering pretty much every major objection people would have, why people wouldn't have. So they're like, features, uh, their benefits, there are different like testimonials here on this page as well. There are multiple calls to action. Uh, there's also a lot of reviews on the bottom. You can see there's also Instagram. So pretty much every single reason for people to buy is specified here. Uh, amazing job by Blissy and they're scaling this offer pretty aggressively on native ads on Facebook on different advertising platforms.